this is a very hybrid word because it's you look up 3045 and you say, hang on, I only got Yada, which is Yod, Dalit, Ayin, with a Kames and a Fatah. I pronounce it as Yada. How come here in this word, it's Vyadata, Vyadata, and there is a little uh, two dots of a vocal Sheva here, there is a final Taf here, and a final Kames here. So this is very confusing to you, but this is what we call word morphology in Biblical Hebrew. You have a conjunction Waf, which is your Vav here, and you have a Kal, Perfect, which is Yada, and then it's in the second masculine singular. So second masculine singular will appear as this. So that's how you pronounce it, were Yada Ta. So it could be N, in this case the Bible chooses to translate it in English as therefore. No, Ki, that, Yahweh, God. Eloheka, Ka is your. Your God. So, Hebrew, you need to understand first the consonant, the vowel, the strongs, and lastly, you need to understand the morphology. It's like the cake that you eat. It may be a rum and raisin cake. Ah, there is rum, there's raisin, there's Bailey's, Irish cream. Ah, right. As you unpack it, they go, no wonder the cake is so rich. Now I understand, Vyadatha is actually made out of a conjunction vowel, which can be translated either as N or therefore, and a cow, perfect, second masculine singular. In fact, it's trying to say, therefore, you need to know that God, your God, Beautiful? Yes. So now I'm unpacking.